How to Overcome Setbacks in Life Cambridge Dictionary describes setbacks as something that happens that delays or prevents a process from developing. Guess what? Every one of us experiences setbacks from time to time in our quest to achieve our goals. People who, however, motivate themselves to overcome their setbacks and accomplish their goals end up being successful. And anyone can learn how to do that. Anurag Prakash Ray said, One of the secrets to being a success is to refuse to let temporary setbacks defeat you and put you down. George Cruz, an author and physical trainer, also said that remember that setbacks are only challenges in disguise. Look at them as lessons. Don't waste time beating yourself up. Just get back on track and focus on what you want. It's up to you and you will do it. We all experience different things at different times, and sometimes we are tempted to think that life is particularly being unfair to us. We think that the universe single-handedly picked us from the crowd to punish us for some reason or the other. However, the important thing here isn't the kind of setback you're experiencing, but how to overcome it. I mean, whether it is an illness, lack of money, capital to fund a project, inefficient team members and the likes, the principle to overcoming these setbacks is the same regardless. In this video, I'll share with you how to overcome setbacks in life. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Acknowledge it. When you're faced with a challenge or setback, start by acknowledging it. It is when you do this that you can start the process of transformation that will leave us better, stronger, wiser, and most importantly, with a solution to the problem. You need to realize that the situation is what it is, accept it, and move on. There's no point burying your head in the sands and thinking that by ignoring it, it will pass away. Can I tell you something? You'll always run into it no matter where you find yourself, until you learn to acknowledge it and then deal with it. Robbie Vohas said, Without setbacks and mistakes, no experience. Without experience, no learning. And without learning, you'll never truly understand the awakening of your heart's desires. When you understand the role of setbacks in achieving your goals, it will help you acknowledge it easily because you know that you are just a few steps away from achieving your goals. 2. Quit trying to blame anyone or circumstance. Sometimes, things happen for no obvious reason. Trying so hard to figure it out and blaming everyone or circumstance isn't a healthy way to overcome such setbacks. Instead of playing the blame game, develop a positive mindset and don't beat yourself up because you can't exactly figure things out. While you can't change what's being done, you can choose to deal with it and you'll move forward when you do. So, spending your time overanalyzing things might not be the wise thing to do in such a situation. Just move on. Don't blame anyone. Learn and move on. 3. Give yourself time. Most times we think that the best way to forget about our worries is to hurriedly find a solution or get a distraction. It doesn't work that way. It's like trying to force a wound to heal up. The more you do that, the harder and longer it takes for it to heal. In the same way, when you're faced with setbacks, don't be in a hurry to discard how you feel about it. Give yourself some time and make peace with your failures. This is according to Dan Millman, an American author and lecturer in the personal development field, so that it doesn't keep you from reaching your potential. Time does heal. However, giving yourself time does not mean wallowing in self-pity and refusing to move on. It means that you should accept your feelings as they are. Once recognized, quickly move on to now what? Les Brown, an American motivational speaker, author, former TV host, said, give yourself a break. Stop beating yourself up. Everyone makes mistakes, has setbacks and failures. You don't come with a book on how to get it right all the time. You will fail sometimes, not because you plan to, but simply because you're human. Failure is part of creating a great life. Stand up to it and handle it with grace. Because you can. 4. Regain your control. Dr. Greg Winch, 
a psychologist and an author, said that regaining as much control over your situation as possible is necessary to help you avoid feeling helpless and hopeless. Also, according to Adam Grant, a Wharton professor, in life, failure comes in two forms, your actions and inactions. When people reflect on their biggest regrets, Grant says, they wish they could redo the inactions, not the actions. In regaining control, ask yourself what are some of the things you ought to do that you didn't or the things you could have done differently to produce a better result. Asking yourself these questions will help you reflect your actions before the setbacks so that you will be able to identify possible loopholes that might have been responsible and you'll learn how to deal with situations like that better in the future. 5. Step out of your comfort zone. Most times, setbacks pushes us to reach out for challenges or tasks that are out of our comfort zone, accept the challenge, and move on to that stage. Les Paul said every setback might be the very thing that makes you carry on and fight all the harder and become much better. Also, according to Christiana Aguilera, an American singer and actress, nothing is ever a setback. If anything, it just motivates you for what's next. If you begin to see setbacks as an opportunity that pushes you into something greater than you, you'll no longer be scared of one. Instead, you'll accept it as a time to step out of your comfort zone to achieve your big goals. Robin Sharma said, The beautiful thing about setbacks is they introduce us to our strengths. Also, always remember that no setback is a personal attack at you. They are there to help us learn and move ahead to the next level. They usher you to the other side of fear, success. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.